Right, morning boys and girls. Um, we have set up the daily levels. Just one thing I want to emphasize here, if you, there's a trading strategy if, if this is our level now and if the daily open is outside of the previous day value area low and value area high, the, the previous day value area, then there's a chance that if we enter that value area that we will close it um, for the day. So lately, um, it's not a very common strategy, but I think uh, more and more people have started trading that, and then that had quite a few um, fakes. So it will get in there, and just to liquidate a lot of people, and then go even lower. So I won't just blindly enter there, but I'll definitely be watching uh, VWAP or some confluence, depends on what levels I find um, around there, and maybe check for a for a retest um, and then if there's volume and and the things look good I I might do that a small scalp trade there so it's obviously just small trades um, okay that's it okay today I'm gonna do it slightly different um, I wanna just pull in another chart here to show you something uh, sorry about that and then uh, so, so these are just, um, can I say, naked daily point of controls. It's a, it's a chart I use to show me um, all the naked daily point of, all, all the naked point of controls, not sessions, the daily, the weekly, and the monthly, and that's where I get it from. So I want you to. It's a bit difficult. I can probably zoom in a bit here. Hmm. And now I've lost it. There it is. Yeah. So there, 41,450, 41,500. You see, there was a, a naked daily point of control, and there was another one, like nearly on each other. So I've searched through here, and that's uh, there's also a few that are close, but they've just been taken out, taken out, and that's the existing one. So, but this one was left naked, and those were not left naked. That's the important thing. So there's an important one, 41, say 500 around there. I've lost the other one. Mm. I think it's even further out. This one takes a while to populate. I'm just gonna cheat and quickly look for it on the other chart. So it's around 46.2. 46 46.2. I'm looking far too high. Ah, oh, there it is. Yeah. You see, there's two really close to each other as well. So th those are two powerful levels. So I'm just gonna go back to this chart. That's why I've put a thick red line there, and I've put a thick red line there. So we're in this zone here. So I think um, I, especially the daily levels, are all levels. These blue ones for scalping and for small trades, and I don't think the people that watch my videos are really scalpers because you wouldn't need my help if you are a successful scalper or a day trader so I'm gonna try and focus more on the bigger moves from now on something that you can do like once a day or once a week and and still have some results okay so those are really important levels to watch now to the upside and to the downside now I want to show you uh, something else because in the mornings when I come here I see ah, I missed a trade so I can show you I missed that trade there now it's so obvious to me and I can just confess to you my thinking so I was in uh, I think I showed you in another trade in this oxy trade so I went up nicely I had my stop loss around here my entry was was low but I decided to put my move my stop loss up to here and that was about 60 percent let's just put that on yeah so that was 60%. So it just, just took me out. So I'm out of this trade, but in a good, healthy 60% profit. So just as a background, so my, in the back of my mind, I'm now motivated or biased for Bitcoin to go up because altcoins more or less follow Bitcoin. And that's wrong. I, I still, I'm still working really hard on that psychology. I've made notes this morning. But anyway, that's my little background. I wanna, so I was biased about this. But when I look at this now, I think on the 30 minutes, it's a little more clear. Yeah. See, I've showed you those little patterns before. It's got a long week and relative to around here, that is still long, that is still long. But look there, there's a, that was a, 
uh, naked daily point of control and the previous day, day value area high and there was a previous day high so there was serious um, resistance there and I could see, see it there there and that one there so I, I'm not looking at these and I'm not saying try that one but why didn't I try that and this morning I go back and I try and find the reasons for that so I'm going to go down to the five minutes uh, just feel yeah, there it is and there were even more signs for me to take that sorry this um, video is going to take a bit longer but I think this is quite a, or a really good example for how you can or, or a little technique that you can go try but please just try paper trading first don't go and put money on it or put something small on it you know like a one dollar or something because then you get the effect and you get the emotions inside of you so there's my fit bull so from the top there then it, it normally rejects hard I don't that's why I'm not interested in getting in there I want to see if it's still because from here it can just bounce and go up so it can just have a like a like an effect like that and just step up step up step up uh, so I'm not trading it immediately I'm waiting to for it to confirm so this Fibonacci you can use um, let me show you which zones are important so you can remove the 382 and the 66 as well so have those two levels those are really important 618 and 786 and then you can even um, let, let me do something else here uh, the replay um, I can probably go here no we were here right here okay so that's what we saw on the chart so you from that top it reject now it's going back now immediately you pull that in there so you go back you can even put your little block there to make it more visible so you say anything that comes inside there and and the minute it starts rejecting not while it's going up because like I said it can just keep on going up so the minute it rejects or you can even make a rule and say the minute it leaves so it can go in here it can go up up and go in there and the minute it leaves uh, there there you can enter uh, let me just wipe this out so let's play it mm. Wait, oh, yeah we play it sorry <laughs> there you go Oof, it's going a bit fast I'm just gonna stop there so yeah there it entered you could have entered there because that was a rejection it wouldn't be wouldn't have been the perfect entry um, maybe a retest of those levels so you've got to figure this out but the block is important say you entered there on the first one you really reacted quickly and you entered there then you put the and I suggest this is how you do it in the beginning um, use this um, replay mode and then you like you can't see the rest and then you just play it slowly I think you can set the speed up there well there's the speed <laughs> we must just set it a bit slower so you say you entered there and then you put your little short there I'm just going to let it play out anyway okay so what I wanted to show you here is look at this risk to reward let's just stop this now yeah um, look at this risk to reward so the the reward is is huge but we didn't know that but the risk was really small so if you if it was me I would have said okay I'll, um, because I, I hate losing money so so if it goes further than the 786 and that level then my idea is wrong then my idea is invalidated but look at your risk 0.22 percent look at your uh, risk to reward ratio is 17 it's eight, 1 to 18 percent but obviously we wouldn't have known that so initially um, this VWAP is very important so I would have just had my my first take profit at least there especially when you start out just you now just make sure that it's a winning trade that's so important for your mentality and take 50% of your close 50% of your position here and once you take your profit immediately move your stop loss to your entry so this is how you can paper trade just like I'm showing you now exactly now and once there you've got a target there you don't wait for the for the um, trade to just run then you go back you say what if what levels do we have so okay the previous day low is like extreme um, 
look this level I just put in now this morning this wasn't the previous day low but say the I don't know any level the daily open was there let's just add some levels here um, higher time frame levels there you go there was a weekly so then you say okay maybe it's still gonna run but at least another 25 percent are closed there now you've closed 75 percent of your trade and you that, that last 25 you can let run uh, well you can change your strategy you can say I just wanted to qualify as a winning trade first so 50 percent there or 30 percent there and then 30 percent there and then the last 30 percent Th this is a strategy I used for quite a while and I still like it uh, I divided it into threes 33 percent quickly very quickly the first first resistance then the second big resistance another 30 percent and then the other 30 percent I leave when I see things like this now I'll be watching it because if you start seeing market structure change you know when like what am I doing here so when you see that and you see it claiming the daily open going up higher highs higher lows then the minute it goes over the previous day value area low and it reclaims that I'll say no cut the trade there let's take profit and look for the next trade so I hope this has helped you so this is a really really simple st strategy let me just um, try and look for one more example because that's now one I obviously rehearsed uh, five minutes where was the high now that was the high yesterday let's see if we could have done something there uh, now that was at 19 why am I just go to higher time frame here yeah that was it I had some other levels in there, that's why it was hit there. Make it session point of controls, not so. Why don't I have those levels? No, I think that was. No. Anyway, let's try and get in there and see if they, there was a trade there. up there and then it rejected to here look at there into that little pocket there but that's five minutes let's see because you could have said no it first went up from from there or it first went down even further but still it's in the pocket so then we go down to the one minute to check which one would have been right Yeah, you see it went up there and then it came down uh, up to there, there, and then it pushed back up into that little golden pocket of ours. So once again, risk to reward, reward. So if we entered the minute it entered that little pocket of ours, uh, I would have put my stop loss just above that um, seven eight six level. Um, look where the v VWAP is down here. Now look at that risk to reward, reward ratio there, fif 1 to 15. So you've got a 0 0.17% um, risk for a 2.67% upside. So you times that by 5, then you have a 0.8%. Is that right? 17, half of 17, yeah, 0.8%. Still not even a 1% risk, and you've got an upside of... 10, 15 percent, uh, probably 13 percent. Sorry, yeah. So I think that is really good, um, good risk to reward. So uh, just the last thing I have to say is you, d you can't just do that to any top there. So you have to wait for a really good level to be hit. So I'll enter. I'll just leave these positions open, and then I'll enter the positions or the the um, levels so that we can check for um, obvious resistances. Okay, so I've just switched on everything, <laughs> so there's a lot of levels, but I don't look at that. You just look at this Fibonacci pull from here, uh, that December high, down to this um, January low. So I'm just going to move it around a bit. You see there you have big resistance there on that same little channel there. So anywhere from there, so it was resistance there, obviously, and then we came up and we swing failure pattern that one there. So let me just go in there see we had a high there and that uh, anchored VWAP was also a resistance and then we just took out that high there so you could have tried to react on there but that would have also been a, a trade 
uh, we just would have been stopped out a little bit lower so um, obviously I went through that whole trade with you and then once again down here this trade look at this confluence of all these levels and very important that anchored V web that was the that was the level that we crossed there and then uh, resistance and there was a lot of resistance levels here so once you see that you start zooming in you go down I was on, on the one hour there you start going down to the 15 minutes start watching it uh, I always look at all levels 30 minutes let me just see what that one looks like yeah that was the 30 minutes that those long weeks started showing and then you go down to the five minutes yeah there you go I'm just gonna this anchor V web messes around with the zoom in and zoom out a bit anyway there's your trade but there's your okay don't look at these blue levels but it was uh, it was that anchored view web because these are now daily levels or now recent levels right I hope that helps a lot I think I'm gonna wrap it up here now um, you obviously know what I'm looking at those two red red um, lines there um, that's uh, resistance and support if we lose this uh, you know there is one more thing I wanted to show you on here maybe a little bit zoomed out on the one hour fixed range Phew, it's very congested yeah uh, that's not the one I wanted to show was the one yeah so where we just where we stop I'm just gonna remove that long position you see there where we f ran into resistance there there's still a lot of resistance there's that point of control up there uh, no that is our line and just above it there's that point of control right from the top down to where we are now so there's still a lot of lot of resistance and just look at that high volume node there so I think I spoke about this yesterday or the day before big big resistance there let's just put the other and that's just our existing fixed range pull fup, fup, yeah. that's all I wanted to show okay so zoom in and look at all the lines we just want to look at that red line that red line I remove some of these lines that are not relevant so I'll keep this TPO naked point of control because it's close to that anchored web so we can run into some resistance here once again keep watching that previous day if we s if we go from the daily open if we enter into the value area low we might run up to the value area high um, just taking into consideration that we might run into resistance here okay that's been a very long video but I hope those little techniques help and you go out and you test them but like I showed you just paper trade initially and when you see you're getting it right then you start doing one dollar positions just so that you can feel the heartbeat and then you just start slowly pushing it up so it's a long process you're not going to make money quickly in one month just guys you tomorrow